hi guys welcome back to my channel i can't thank you guys enough for the amount of support i've gotten on my channel in just a few days we almost have 20,000 subscribers and my last video i did with my mom it's like over 300,000 views like guys i was just excited at 20,000 views um i'm so glad my message and my opinion was able to be shared online and have so many of you guys see it i think that's probably gonna be the last video i make on just that whole topic because it's just a really upsetting topic um i'm trying to go through your comments there's a lot of comments i now know why a lot of bigger influencers, YouTubers, bloggers have a hard time going through them. I am trying my best, so please like give me some time. I was always that person that said, I think everyone should be required to read every comment, but I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I don't know if you guys know, but I am doing a fitness journey. I just want to be healthier, um, get fit, eat well, just lead a better lifestyle. So if you guys want to stick around for my journey that I'm going to continue, I would love to have you. Man, I just can't believe like 20,000 of you almost. It makes me a little bit more nervous to post now that I have like more people watching in a sense, but I'm going to stay true to who I am and just do me like I have been doing on my channel for so long. So again, thank you. I don't know how else to thank you guys, but it means the world to me. I love doing this. It's truly what I'm passionate about and I hope you can tell. Anyway, I think that's enough rambling. Let's just get on to the week 20 update. Um, before I get into what I did this past week, I wanna say thank you to the person who suggested I take before and after photos in the same outfit for week 20. I did do that and if you could see in the thumbnail, that is what I used. Let's just move on to what I did this week workout wise. I do the Chloe Ting Challenge challenge workouts. I do Chloe Ting's workouts, but I also add in Alexis Wren's ab challenge in some of the days. So I just wanted to clarify that with you. I have a whole playlist of workouts that I pick and choose from. I don't follow any specific workout routine or regimen. I just kind of pick and choose what I want to do. Saturday the 30th, I did the 30 minute full body workout with the flat abs. And the flat abs is my go-to. I love that one. That's the workout I started with, which I just, hands down, it's a really good workout by Chloe Ting. I highly recommend it. Then on Sunday, May 31st, I did the 15-minute workout. It's a 15-minute full body shred. In the title, it says, do this every day to lose weight. I do that one on Sundays with the 11-line ab definition. And I swear, I do see the definition. It's amazing. It's a really good workout, pretty challenging. And I do the toned arm workout. Sometimes my mom does this one with me, uh, the one that you saw in the last video, but I don't think she did it with me this week. She just wasn't feeling it, so she didn't do it. And then on Monday, June 1st, I did the 2019 shred. So that workout kills me every time. I say this in all of my videos, but it's a really hard workout. It is a full body workout that she did last year for her summer shred. Um, again, it's in that playlist, so if you want to check it out, you can try to do it. Doing the high knee for one minute is just insane. I have a hard time doing that. And then I did the Alexis Wren ab challenge. It's a 10 minute video. It's a little bit more advanced, I would say, but it's still really good. And then I did the bra bulge. So like sometimes you get a little rolly there and I definitely need to like work on that. So I'm still working on that. After the bra bulge exercise, I did the hip dips and I use my resistance bands for the leg slash butt workouts just because I think they're really good. And I do have a video coming out about the workout bands because I've been using them for a while now. Let me know down below if you'd like to see that. I've gotten a couple of requests to do that. Um, Mondays, as you can see, are my very, very long days. Um, not very, very, but you know, longer than my other days. And then Tuesday, I do not work out. Tuesday is my off day. I work that day. I work at home right now currently because of the whole situation with the pandemic. Everything's kind of opening up, but I still am working at home, which I'm grateful for. So Tuesday, I don't work out. Then on Wednesday, Wednesday guys, I did not work out, which is crazy, right? because I filmed the video with my mom on Wednesday because I was like, you know, people want to know what your opinion is. So like, let's just film this um, so you can share your thoughts. So I did not work out on Wednesday. 
Thursday, however, I did work out and I normally don't work out on Thursdays, but that's okay. Um, I did the 15 minute workout, the full body, like I did on Sunday. And then I did the Alexis Ren ab challenge. That's normally sort of what I do on Wednesdays, but I just moved it to Thursday, which was yesterday. And then Friday today, 6-4, I did the 30 minute full body workout, just like I did on Saturday. I did the back fat workout, like the bra bulge, and then I did the booty workout. So that's super fun. Okay, so moving on to the updates, I only have a few. So the first update is Saturday is so hard for me to find the motivation to work out. I don't know what it is about Saturday, but it's just so hard to just get off my butt and just say I'm gonna work out. So tomorrow, since this is my week 20, I am taking Saturday off tomorrow. Woohoo, I'm so happy because I hate working out on Saturday. I did wanna share this photo because I was like, wow. So I left the house on Monday to go to a doctor's appointment and we had some other things. And I wore this outfit and I got these shorts from Luca and Gray, they're so cute. Uh, but they're really loose on me now and because my waist has gotten significantly smaller and you'll see that in the photos later, they were so loose and it's just insane to me and I'm so happy slash sad because I love those shorts. I'm still gonna keep them obviously, you never know when your girl's gonna thicken out again, but <laughs> I just love that feeling of like, wow, my clothes feel different. And this gets me into my main point and the topic and the title of this video of like, you are not defined by a number because I'm gonna tell you, my weight has not changed drastically, but my looks and my, the way my clothes fit has changed drastically. Just because you might not be losing weight, you actually might be gaining weight, it's because muscle weighs more than fat. So if you're gaining muscle, you're clearly gonna gain weight in that sense. So don't worry about numbers on a scale because you're not defined by a number. Measure yourself, if that makes sense, and like see that way, or when you put on a top that might have been a little bit tighter, and if it's looser, then you're making progress. So not everything is defined by like weight and a number. So food-wise, I had two cheat meals. We had Joe's Crab Shack one night, and then during the day on Monday, I had Panera. So good, man. A little bit TMI, but you know, I'm on my lady months, so I am a little bit more bloated than I would be if I wasn't, but you know, it's life, so whatever. And then I also wanted to mention I am on birth control. I feel like that has a part that plays into my weight gain in a sense. I might make a whole other video about that, but yeah, I'm on birth control, so I don't really plan on getting off of it because it helps like maintain hormones and all of that stuff. I'm just gonna keep on doing that, but that also does play a role in people's like weight gain and stuff. So just keep that in mind if you are on birth control. Now let's just move on to the photos. So this is Alex last week on the left and Alex this week on the right. And I'm not wearing the same clothes in these because last week I definitely didn't have the same outfit on as like when I first started working out, but we're gonna get there. And then this is a side view of that, which, you know, pretty, it, it looks kind of the same. And this is my favorite part that I share with you guys. On the left is pre-workout Alex, and on the right is current Alex. And here is the side view of that. These photos, keep in mind, I am like flexing slash trying but I'm also going to show you my relaxed version because originally I took the photos relaxed so I won't cheat and I'll be totally honest with you guys. Alex on the left is pre-workout Alex and Alex on the right is current Alex but I'm not flexing or trying. And then here is the side view of that. I do actually have still of a little pudge down you know, like where my stomach is. If you are a female, like you're always going to have that because it like helps protect, you know, the organs down there. So don't feel bad if you have that. Um, I'm still trying to work on it just a little bit just so I can tone it up. That's why I do a lot of good ab exercises. Sorry for the background noise, but I also wanted to throw in these photos. Um, they're taken from the other side and I don't know why. When you pose a certain way, it really helps, trust me. So if you guys want a um, pose idea video for like working out and stuff to make you look better leave a comment down below because I've been testing different poses okay on to past Alex 
But anyway, I think that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for subscribing. This is part of my content because I like sharing my um, workout journey and it keeps me really accountable. So thank you so much for those of you who watch this video. I think that's about it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.